Hello everyone, I hope you are alright and you are learning a lot with the videos as well and today I'm so excited because I want to show you definitely how to use Google Keyword Planner because it's an important part of, of keyword strategy. So today we are going to have a look at Keyword Planner. So go ahead and look for a Google uh, Keyword Planner and sign in. If you don't have a Google account yet, please make one. And uh, after that, follow the steps I'm going to show you. So we sign in our Keyword Planner. And it should take us there in one second, hopefully quickly. Okay, we are here. Okay, so this is the overview of Google Ads, but we don't want Google Ads, we want Google Keyword Planner. So you click on Tools and then Keyword Planner under Planning. So when it takes us here, what we're gonna what we're gonna click is on find keywords because we are looking uh, for uh, the right keyword for our business or our blog. So once we click on find keywords. Uh, it's, it's giving us the opportunity to enter the, 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 possi the possible or potential related queries that possible people is looking for. So if you think that your business, it will be uh, looking, for example, uh, there will be, it's a travel business, let's say, and um, your customer might be searching for hotels. So let's say you live in Oxford. Yeah, let's, let's put it there. Oxford is really nice. So, okay. Let's say your potential customers are searching for hotels, affordable um, hotels in Oxford. Yeah, this is an example. Okay, you might be wondering why uh, the query I'm, I'm putting in is too long. Okay, well, this is, is because uh, we are aiming to target um, body or don't tell keywords. So this is what I want actually to explain you with this video apart from Google Keyword Planner is is the right keyword that you should be using is the less competitive keyword and the less competitive keywords are uh, based on research long body long tail keywords okay so these are the keywords that we want so for example as a user i will be looking for a long tail keyword like this because think i'm going to opt for i might be looking for an affordable hotel i don't want a luxury hotel i just want an affordable hotel so affordable hotel in Oxford and weekly end get started and it will show us a, a range of row keywords as you can see there are there are keywords uh, made of two words uh, three words two words and so on so if we um, if we scroll down we have a 686 keyword ideas as you say here so we don't one too many as know it's overwhelming we want the best keywords and this is why i'm making this video to show you the best keywords so what are the best keywords in this case scenario okay with any example that you put in here you will have to filter your options and the way that we will filter your options as i as i explained in another video about keyword uh, in the video uh, keyword uh, keyword research in physics text is that we are aiming for low competition we are aiming for an average month research of um, 500 plus i would say yeah 500 plus and also well even 100 would be okay Really, it depends on the business, but a decent amount of monthly research. We don't want 10 monthly research, we don't want 20 monthly research, we don't want 50 monthly research, we want minimum 100. But um, in this case, where we have a really, really pretty decent average of monthly research with low and medium competition. As we want to, to, to have better chances uh, to run in search engine result pages for these related queries, Oak for Hotel Deals, Oak for Hotels near Oak for, Oak for Hotels. So what we're going to do is to filter. And the way we filter here is here, in this symbol here, filter. So by default, it says exclude adult ideas, uh, so maybe for safety reasons. So we just uh, get rid of that and we add a filter. And when we add a filter, uh, as I already uh, set up my filters, yeah, in this case, you have to set up yours. What I did is to set up filters of low competition, top page, top of page big. So the, the, when you go to this column, 
the top of Peggy Beach can be low or high. Both are important because we will know the range. So, for example, people that is searching for Oxford hotels uh, are likely to be buying because the top of Peggy Beach high range is three pound ninety five, whereas this is zero point. I would say 0 0.20 and the total pay big range is 0 0.80 that might be likely because uh, for advertising purposes this is not really bringing up, bringing up any leaks or conversions so that is why the reason so that explain it so when you set up your filters make sure that you set it for low competition the high range uh, I would say more than one pound or one dollar if you are in the United States and the average month research, uh, depending on your business, on the business sector, uh, 100 plus. In this case, I set it up for 1,000. So once we have this, uh, with uh, this, uh, this filter ready here, is also because now I'm able to see here all the queries that have that 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 mix this criteria, and because now I'm able to see all these criteria, and I go. A considerably decent amount of keyword ideas. I got 112 keyword ideas. What I will have to do, the only thing I will have to do, is to uh, um, just to download these keyword ideas to an Excel file. And uh, once I download it on an Excel file, just narrow down uh, for the more relevant for the more relevant uh, more relevant keywords. In this case. Um, you can also filter a filter here uh, for the number of keywords. So if we go to filters again, um, so these are my recent filters. If I go to my select filters here, uh, I could see my recent filters, but I can also see um, I can also see a uh, select filter, not a keyword text. So we go to keyword text. Yeah. In keyword text, uh, you can set up your keywords by uh, value text. So for example, contains Oxford. Yeah. Because you want obviously the more relevant keywords. So you want to include a keyword related to your business. So you can do that and you can apply these filters as well. So all the all the keywords will have the query Oxford. Which now is even narrowing more, even narrowing better. Now it's even more narrow and it's 103 keywords. So after you do this, you can download your keyword ideas and you will download an Excel file. And after that, you will select, yeah, you will select, for example, the first 10 keywords. I will try, you can try with your first homepage, uh, about page, blog page, and so on. So let me know how it goes in the comment below. And if you have any questions, you know where I am, subscribe to the YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter and LinkedIn. Thank you so much for watching.